My name is Trademark, and welcome to Military Veteran Gaming. I'll help you play at least 1% better than your last match in Call of Duty. Let's go. So you're in a match of Warzone 2 or multiplayer with a pistol and you get clapped. Before you can continue to fight for the W in Warzone, you have to pass a test. The dreaded Gulag. In Season 1, the Gulag grants you a handgun for survival. I'm going to tell you what you need to know about pistols so you can win more often in Warzone 2 and even multiplayer. The most important thing to know is the relationship between front and rear sights. With most rifles, the front sight is easy to see and you tend to focus on it more than the rear sights. With most handgun barrels, the rear sight stands out more and the front sight is usually extremely difficult to see. In simple terms, the front sight is your vertical axis and the rear sight is your horizontal axis. In Call of Duty, pistols and rifles function the same way in that you must get your target on top of the front sight for the money shot. If your front sight is aligned, then your rear sight is seemingly irrelevant. Armed with this knowledge, let's talk about three tips so you can outperform the enemy the next time you have to use a sidearm. Tip number one. If you ever have the option when using a handgun, then just don't use iron sights. The easiest solution will always be an optic because you don't have to strain your eyes or compensate movement to get that front sight on target. The red dot in an optic acts as the front sight and requires less thought and action when aiming. Just place the dot, pull the trigger, and get a banana. Tip number two. Great. Problem solved for multiplayer matches, but what about Warzone where you drop with a default pistol or you're relegated to the Season 1 Gulag and all you have is a lackluster sidearm? You need to practice with pistols in the firing range at no cost to your KD ratio. Do this so you can rewire your muscle memory to focus on the front sight when massaging the trigger on pistols. When you aim in ADS, start low on your target and move up. This makes the front sight more visible than your rear sight. Now you can shoot your target with much more accuracy. Practice long enough and you can start doing this very quickly in a gunfight. Now that you can clearly see the front sight, just position it and full send your enemy to the Call of Duty Afterlife. Tip number three. By now, you might be contemplating hip fire with a handgun. The answer to this is the same as with every ever gun you use in Call of Duty. It's simple. Pull the trigger before and while you ADS and make it second nature. At close range, ADS is a luxury only provided if you're still alive to keep tossing lead. While in hip fire, slap that jump key. Jumping when possible will pull your hip fire aim closer to their head and force them to compensate their aim just to hit your chest. This is great when used against controller players as it can break their aim assist. It often only takes one jump and usually not more than two before one of you takes the room temperature challenge. With practice in both the firing range and a map-like shipment, you should start winning more often with pistols. Bonus tip. If you single fire that like button, comment, and subscribe, I'll make more videos to help you step up your COD game. I'll drop tips you might not find anywhere else on YouTube. So be a good wingman and help me get to 1,000 subscribers in 2023. Thanks for watching, and I hope you are now at least 1% better than you were the last time you played Call of Duty.